Look at them bounce. Mm, she's got more bounce than an ounce. Look at this crab dance. I'm not a man for seafood, but I'd like her seafood medley. What the hell is this? Stu! Someone turned off my video feed. What the, what does this say? GameStop exclusive Fallout 76 power armor helmets recalled over mold scare. Uh oh. Hmm. Todd? Todd, come out and play. We have a problem. All of this just works. Oh, that's right, Todd. Oh, where's Pete Hines? I don't know where he is right now. I'll have to go look for him. Fluffy stole him. Poor Pete. Oh, better him than me. And again, it, it just works. You make a good argument, Todd. <laughs> that's right, Todd. It does just work. Works for me. I'll be sure to pre-order my copy of Elder Scrolls 6 Sight Unseen, Todd. I hope you have a special edition for me to spend Gundam's money on. And then you run wires that connect them all, and it, again, it, it just works. You are a sage. God bless you, Todd. There was a time when Bethesda could do no wrong. Literally, we would all scuttle to GameStop at midnight and await the latest release whether it be Fallout or Elder Scrolls. The games would be riddled with bugs, especially if you're on the PlayStation side of things. But you didn't care. The experience in and of itself was worth the hassle of a few game-breaking bugs or save file bloating, events that didn't play out and it left you stranded on a certain quest in the game, or, as in Fallout 3, the Anchorage DLC, where... You would get to the Anchorage base, and the game would literally run at like three to four frames per second. Didn't even react. I'll show you how long it takes to take the pit boy out, yeah? Press circle. You have to press it quite a few times for it to even come up. And you had to sit and wait for the game to catch up with itself to move out of that one area so you could save and continue playing. Ah, Bethesda. We used to all love it. And now look at it. It has become the biggest meme ever. With Bethesda attempting to hop on the games as service bandwagon, because pretty much that's the gaming industry's new thing. They sort of go through ebb and flows, if you will. At one point, it was all about releasing the game later on expansion packs then after expansion packs we had dlcs and season passes now that that's fallen by the wayside we're focusing on microtransactions newest bleeding edge technology innovation loot boxes but now the government's cracking down on microtransactions so now we need live services so we can continuously charge you for an inadequate experience, a shell of a game that will patch later, maybe, kind of, sort of, not really, sorry, screw you, Anthem Roadmap canceled, bite me. That's where we're headed. What a wonderful world gaming is. It's as hollow as the music and movie industry now. It's pretty much achieved its goal of becoming what it wanted to be. A piece of dredge, suffering from its own subterfuge, and incestuous and vain ideas of how to continuously nickel and dime you. But that's besides the point. The GameStop exclusive Fallout 76 Power Armor helmet came out, and I remember looking at it and thinking to myself, why the hell would I buy this? If I really wanted a chunk of plastic, I'd just buy the special edition. At least they give me a glow-in-the-dark map. All of you love our special editions, and we have an awesome collector's edition for you. It starts with a map of the world that glows in the fucking dark. <laughs> and it's great. It turns out the foam padding on the inside, well, if you've got a weak immune system, uh, you probably shouldn't put this on, little babies. But then again, if you've got a weak immune system, everything's a threat to you. 
Hell, even pollen can be dangerous. Sure, we lost a few, but at least the children died in the sunshine. This power armor, <laughs> this power armor helmet that, <laughs> I'm sorry. This power armor helmet that roughly retails at $150. I, I kept laughing reading that because I know that this thing is made out of the most cheap plastic manufactured in China that they could find. It, it probably cost these companies a little more than $5 to produce it. And then they slapped an extra zero on the damn thing plus a one. Anyway, the helmet was sold for customers that weren't able to grab the power armor edition of the game that launched alongside the main title. Imagine that you were so desperate to get the helmet you had to go to this avenue. And it wasn't even like the people who didn't get the power armor edition got anything that great. Sure, you got the helmet in its original color scheme and, admittedly, a map that glows in the f***ing dark, to quote God Howard. So, you go for this as an alternative, and still you get screwed, you know? I bet there are people looking at this and they were going, Ha! Huh, I saved a little bit of money and I still got the power armor helmet. Those poor plebs have a plastic bag. And now, look what happens. The polyester slash cotton blend fabric insert may contain mold. This possesses risk of respiratory and other infections to those who may suffer from a compromised immune system, damaged lungs, or an allergic reaction to mold. If you have a compromised immune system or damaged lungs, I don't think you'd be running around wearing this power armor helmet. And let's be frank, this thing isn't exactly that awesome. The buzz you'd have wearing it would last all but five minutes after you realized how shit Fallout 76 was and how much of a douchebag you were for paying 150 bucks for this. I'm pretty sure after you took it off, there was a level of shame that they felt. It's the same level of shame I feel after a hardcore pornography binge and I come out of my drunken fap stupor that can only be best expressed by DSP. Play the clips, too. <laughs> Point being, God of mercy. Well, if this applies to you, please call 1-800-883-8895. Immediate chmoi. That's French for right now. And let GameStop know that you have a ticking time bomb in your hands painted to a Nuka-Cola red. I couldn't think of a very flare fight. It's real hard to talk about this sort of stuff and not curse. It's like, oh my God. You know, I don't feel cursing is bad. I call them sentence enhancers. And this is really inhibiting me for God's sakes. I've come up with so many ways to say dirty words in creative ways just to be limited by this draconian level of Mr. Rogers we're living in right now. That has absolutely nothing to do with the story. Oh, wait a second. If you're one of the supposedly 20,000 people that own this helmet, the CPSC urges you to get in touch with GameStop or keep it. Fuck it. What's going to happen? All you have to do is not stick your head in there and breathe deep, you know, like <gasps> unless you want to do that and then get fucked up and then sue. Oh, my. Even a year after all the horrible things that happened and the damning video by the Internet historian, which pretty much felt like watching a ritualistic murder to the tune of a funny YouTube video that could have canceled anyone else's career except for DSP and Todd Howard. We still have this sort of stuff going on. It makes you wonder. Ah, oh, Bethesda had this to say, by the way. The helmets that are being recalled are not from our Fall 76 Power Armor Edition. Thank God. I mean, really, talk about a blow they could not withstand. If this was actually for the Power Armor Edition, I think Pete Hines and Todd Howard would have to fade off into the sunset, but are instead a different line of helmets sold exclusively by GameStop. My question is, who made these helmets? Because they're identical to the Power Armor Edition helmets as far as looks go. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that these two helmets are the same. It's just painted differently. My question is, what happened? Did they decide to skimp a little bit more on the, the GameStop version or did GameStop decide to skimp? Did GameStop go like, oh, hey, Bethesda, we want to sell versions of your helmet. And they're like, sure, whatever, cool beans. Uh, this is how much it costs to make the helmet. And the GameStop goes, oh, that's a little expensive. Can we make it cheaper? And they're like, sure. We have tons of cheap ways to make things. I mean, hell, we were going to make canvas bags, but it's too expensive. So we gave these little fuckers nylon. 
and then the rest is history. Fallout 76 Power Armor Edition helmets are unaffected. Well, that's good. Consumers should visit the product recall page for instructions if they have purchased the GameStop helmet. I would like it to see a side-by-side -side comparison of both of these helmets, if at all possible. But then again, on the other hand, who cares? I mean, really, why not, you know, call me crazy, rip out the offending possible mold paddings and put better padding inside of the helmet? I mean, if you really cared about the helmet that much and you wanted to wear it more than once in a while, I'm pretty sure most people would have taken out the cheap helmet padding and got motorcycle helmet padding, put it in there and called it a day. But hey, listen, Bethesda screwed, man. I mean, Elder Scrolls 6 had better be so good. It literally, I, I have nothing. Like, Elder Scrolls 6 had better eclipse Fallout New Vegas. That's how good it would have to be for us to forgive all of this retardation. But you know what's going to happen. Elder Scrolls is going to come out. You know, Todd Howard's going to strut out there like the Oompa Loompa he is during E3. They're going to show off game footage. Everyone's going to cheer and haw like nothing happened. They'll have a special edition of the, the, the Elder Scrolls that'll come with like a, a Dova King axe. And then later on, you'll find out the axe was made with lead poisoning. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you can get your full refund. And it's being offered by GameStop. Blah, 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 blah. God, GameStop can't catch a break. Their stock prices are dropping. They're closing stores. People are going all digital. And now they have to give refunds for a power helmet that might just kill someone with a weak immune system. It'd be a PR nightmare if somebody dropped dead from this. One of the journalists of an article wrote, I'm surprised to see things are still rocky for Bethesda's Fallout 76. Physical merchandise received lots of criticism last year, such as the Fallout 76 leather jacket, the power armor edition, switch canvas bags, cheaper nylon bags, promoting. Really, Fallout 76 has been a, a fuck fest from the beginning. How could you say you're surprised to still see things are rocky? Fallout 76 was a cash grab for games of service. So right there, you got a game that they even outsourced to other people. That's basically Fallout 4 online, except jankier, in hopes to milk you for money. They put out cheap little tchotchke after tchotchke in hopes that the mindless herd would continue to suck up the garbage. And turns out that they were so cheap they shot themselves in the foot. Do you know how heroic Bethesda would have been hailed if they actually put money into some of this crap? You know, if they actually made a power armor helmet that you could proudly display in a case, people would sit there and go, well, the game sucked dick. But I'll be damned if the helmet didn't make my wife wet every night before she came to bed. God bless you, Todd Howard. No. No. They looked for the cheapest option possible and told you to get bent. And then when they saw too many people fought back, they begrudgingly gave you a canvas bag six months later. God, you know what's really surprising? Nobody's selling these helmets on eBay. Can you believe it? Probably because they legally can't, huh? Now that I think about it. I mean, usually when tragedies happen, people don't care. They go right to eBay and sell stuff. Like uh, when 9-11 happened, people were selling parts of the Twin Towers. I'm telling you, people are carnivorous. <laughs>